Hello everyone and happy Pi Day! Today we'll be solving a trigonometric equation and looking for radian values. What does this have to do with Pi? Is Pi equal to 3.14? Well, we'll see in a little bit. Let's get started. Alright, so we do have cosine x to the power 314 minus sine x to the power 314 and the difference is equal to 1. We're going to be looking for x values in radians. I keep saying this because sometimes there's a confusion about the degrees and radians. This time we're going to be finding it for radians. And this is a pi day special. So let's get started. Now, what are we going to do? Well, I'm going to isolate the cosine term on one side. And you'll see in a little bit why I'm doing this. This makes so much sense, hopefully. So I have cosine x to the power of this is equal to 1 plus if I add the sine term on both sides, then I should be getting something like this, all right? So now, what do we know about the values of cosine and sine? Well, we do know that cosine and sine are actually restricted. They can only take values between negative 1 and 1 inclusive, all right? So that's a closed interval. But we have the powers here, so that makes a difference, obviously. So for example, if you raise cosine x to the power uh, some even number, obviously you can't really see any negative values. Of course, x is going to be real here. We're not talking about some complex stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and write some inequalities to indicate what we're talking about here. So here's what I'm trying to say. Cosine of x is always between negative 1 and 1. And the same thing is true for sine x. Great. Now, this basically tells you the range of the sine and cosine functions. Now, when you raise it to an even power, you're going to get only positive values, or I should say non-negative values, because definitely cosine x can be 0. So we can safely say that if I raise this expression here to the power 314, then it should be between 0 and 1. All right. And what about this one? Let's do the same thing here. If you raise it to the power 314, it's also going to be between 0 and 1. Great. So they're basically similar, right, in that sense. So what are we going to do? Well, if you look at the left-hand side of the equation, we have the cosine. On the right-hand side, though, we do have 1 plus sine something. So what I'd like to do to the second inequality here is adding 1 to both sides, right? So what's that going to give you? If I add 1 to everything, then I should be getting something like this. 1 is less than or equal to 1 plus sine x to the power 314. And if you add 1 to 1, it's going to be 2. Great. So now, here's the interesting part of this equation. Now, these two things are equal, right? So I'm basically saying that this expression is going to be between 0 and 1, and the same expression, because they're equal, is going to be between 1 and 2, inclusive, of course, both of them, right? Well, how can something be between 0 and 1 and between 1 and 2 at the same time? Well, it can only occur if the same thing is equal to 1. So this basically means that this expression needs to equal 1 as well as this expression because at the end, they're equal, right? So this means that cosine x to the power 314 is equal to 1 and sine of 314 to the power x is equal to 0 because we subtract 1 from both sides. So this basically gives us, so one equation gives us an inequality, and those inequalities gives us two values, and this just becomes a system of equations. So now we're going to be solving this system. How do you solve this system? Well, this is an even power, so when I take the square root, obviously we're going to get the absolute value, so two values. So from here, I can safely say that, or did I say square root? It should be the 314th root of both sides, but pretty much the same thing, right? Pretty close. So cosine x can be 1 or negative 1 in this case, right? Okay. From here, we only get one value, which means sine x is equal to 0. Now, of course, this is an or, so cosine can be 1 or negative 1, and sine x has to be 0 at the same time. So what does that tell you? Well, we get the following from here. So we get cosine x is equal to 1 and sine x is equal to 0. Or we get cosine x is equal to negative 1, let's put an or in between, and sine x is equal to 0. Now, when you consider the unit circle, you're going to notice that we're not getting a bunch of solutions here, but notice that 
sine x is going to be 0 at 0 and pi. And obviously, at those values, cosine is also going to be either 1 or negative 1. So between 0 and 2 pi, we only have two solutions. And those solutions are x equals 0 and pi. And this concludes our video for pi day. All right. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Happy Pi Day, and see you tomorrow.